In this video, we'll cover how to create and configure a Site Reading Factory assignment in Canvas, how a student launches a Site Reading Factory assignment in their Canvas account, and how you grade Site Reading Factory assignment submissions from your students in your Canvas account. With these assignments, you will be able to configure the site reading that will be generated for your students to your needs, and your students will be able to launch these assignments directly from their Canvas accounts. When launching the assignments, they will be presented with a site reading exercise that is generated from your specified configuration. Our site will record them as they perform it, the student will self-assess, and then submit the recording and music back to you so that you can grade and leave feedback through your Canvas account. So let's check out how we'll do this. First, you'll have to make sure that you have already installed Site Reading Factory as an external app using the LTI keys we provided you. If you go to your settings page and view your app configurations, you should see Site Reading Factory listed there. If it isn't there, you'll need to add Site Reading Factory as an external app. You can view our video on how to add Site Reading Factory as an external app for more information on that topic. After you've confirmed that Site Reading Factory is added as an external app, you're ready to create an assignment. So to do this, you'll go to the Assignments page and click the Add Assignment button. Fill out the form for your needs. The key to making this an assignment that will use Site Reading Factory as an external tool is the Submission Type field. So you'll make sure that the selection for the Submission Type is External Tool. Then you'll click Find and find Site Reading Factory in the list of external tools and select it. We do recommend checking the box to load in a new tab because it gives a better experience using Site Reading Factory in a full tab rather than when it loads inside Canvas. Complete the rest of the form to your needs and save the assignment. When you're ready for your students to see it, or if you'd like to try it out in student view, you'll have to publish it. After creating and saving the assignment in Canvas, I'll now set it up in Site Reading Factory so that it has the configuration I'd like for my students for this particular assignment. Because I chose to load this in a new tab, I'll be shown a page and have to click a button to load this assignment in a new tab in order to configure it. As the educator, when loading the Site Reading Factory assignment, I'll be sent to this page, which is the assignment configuration page that I'll now fill out. When a student clicks the assignment from Canvas, it launches the actual assignment for them to complete, and I'll be showing that in a moment. But for the educator, they will always get the assignment configuration page when they click the assignment in Canvas. Okay, so now you'll configure the assignment. You can set things like the level, the time and key signature, how many measures, how long the countdown timer should be, if you'd like any annotations such as solfege, scale degrees, or pitch names on the notes, etc. After you've configured everything to your needs, click Add Assignment at the bottom of the page to create your assignment. Before I move on to the student view of launching a Site Reading Factory assignment, I wanted to point out that your students will not be able to launch a Site Reading Factory Canvas assignment until you have configured it and added it as was just demonstrated. If you just make the Canvas assignment and don't actually configure it in Site Reading Factory, your students will get a message that they can't launch it until their teacher has configured it. Okay, so now on to student view. I'll click the home button and then student view. Now I'm seeing things as a student enrolled in this course would see. I'll click Assignments to find the assignment that I just created. I'll click the assignment, and because I asked it to load in a new tab, I'll have to click the button here to load the assignment in a new tab. After doing that, I'll be starting the assignment. The student would do a quick mic check, which I can skip for now because I've done one recently, pick their instrument, and any other settings you didn't configure for them, and launch the assignment. They are presented with a countdown timer during which they should study the exercise. They can press the tuning fork icon to get the opening pitch, and they can press the metronome icon to get the tempo for the exercise. After the countdown expires, there is a visual and audio preparatory beat click off, and then the student begins performing. After they're done, they now have the ability to self-assess. They have three options, listen to their recording, listen to synthetic audio of the music, or listen to their recording played on top of synthetic audio. If they like their recording, they can submit it to you. If they don't, they can try another. If they try another, it generates a new exercise and they get a fresh countdown timer and can make another recording. Now we'll switch back to the teacher view so that you can see what it's like after they've submitted their assignment to you. There's different ways to access your student's submissions in Canvas. I'll do it by going to the gradebook by clicking Grades. I'll search for the assignment and my test student, 
and I see there's been a submission. So I'll click here and then the arrow and then I'll click speed grader in the sidebar to access the submission. In the speed grader view, you'll be able to view the music that the student performed, you'll be able to listen to the recording that the student made, and be able to leave a grade and comments. That concludes this tutorial on Sight Reading Factory assignments in Canvas. We hope you enjoy using Sight Reading Factory in your Canvas account.